Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, Maribel. Hello, Ronnie. Hello, Esmeralda. Hello, Genaro. It's good to have you here. Welcome, my dear participants. We are about to close the, sec uh, the week number two and the section, uh, we, are, we continue working with the section number three. Eh, bienvenidos cada uno, cada una. Estamos ya casi por cerrar, ¿verdad? Lo que sería la semana 2. And um, the section number 3, la sección 3, ¿verdad? So for today, uh, we are going to connect with the platform. Vamos a eh, recordar un poco en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Déjenme compartirles. Eh, for you to see. Uh, so for today, we are going to work the simple present WH question. In the platform, you have this video that says a conversation. He works in a hotel. He works in a hotel. So you have a video in the platform, so you can watch the video, and we can discuss later about the content of the video in the um, forum, right, right here. Uh, so let me advance. Uh, later, we will solve, solve this knowledge check, okay? But uh, we are going to come back. Vamos a regresar aquí, ¿verdad? Uh, later on, when we finish our class, uh, cuando terminemos la clase, ¿verdad? Vamos a regresar. Uh, by now, I would like to ask you if uh, you already uh, solved the exercise, last night exercise. Resolvimos el ejercicio de anoche. ¿Se recuerdan el que dejamos para eh, to talk about where do we work? So I'm going to project it. Lo vamos a proyectar for you to watch it and that you can share para que ustedes eh, puedan compartir, ¿verdad? So let me share. Okay. Do you remember this? Who worked it? Who worked on that? ¿Quién trabajó en ello? Let's see, vamos a ver. Remember that the idea was to say uh, your name, where do you work, and what you do, right? And who's your boss? And we use the prepositions I work at to say the name of the place where you work. I work in to say the name of the department. And then you say I work for, to say the, the name of your supervisor. Okay, so who wants to start? Vamos a ver, ¿quién quiere comenzar? Remember that we were talking about the professions, right? Eh, voy a comenzar yo. Okay, eh, Ronnie, ¿verdad? Hello, is it it's Ronnie? Eh, Genaro. Okay, Genaro, Genaro. Okay, you can start. Hello, teacher. Okay, hello, hey. Genaro. Uh, my name is Genaro Ramos. Okay. I work um Nentex. I work in the production department. Mm -hmm. I plan and schedule. Okay. I supervise. 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 I work for Mr. Okay. Okay, I work for Miguel. Um, I supervise delivery. Okay, very good. Excellent, Genaro. So, let me see. Uh, Ronnie, uh, would you like to continue, Ronnie? No sé si Ronnie nos escucha. Okay, Maribel. Hello, can you hear me? I'm sorry, I was experiencing some internet problems. I hope that this can be solved. Eh, espero que se pueda resolver, ¿verdad? Tuvimos un bajón de internet. Así que esperamos que ahora sí me puedan escuchar bien. And I will share again. Vamos a compartir de nuevo. Okay, uh, so Genaro already shared. Eh, Genaro ya nos compartió, ¿verdad? Eh, so now, eh, Maribel. Eh. And Ronnie, sorry, Ronnie was eh, waiting for. No sé si Ronnie estaba listo o le damos el espacio a Maribel. 
Sí, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Ok, please, Ronnie. Adelante, Ronnie. Uh, sí, eh, ahorita. Eh, my name is Ronnie. I work at Exofil. Chala. Ok, what else? ¿Qué más? Vamos a ver. Eh, solamente teacher. Only that. Ok, excellent. Thank you. Uh, Maribel, would you like to continue? My name is Maribel. I, I, I work at Textofil. Uh -huh. I work in in designer production. Uh -huh. um, I work. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice calidad? For quality, quality, quality. Uh -huh. Quality, quality. I work uh, in quality. Uh, quality, quality de, production. Quality production, okay. Quality control department or quality production. Very good. Excellent. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. We already have Genaro and Ronnie. So let me see. Hazel, would you like to share with us, Hazel? Hello, Hazel. I don't know if Hazel can hear us. If not, I would like to request Esmeralda. Hello, Esmeralda. Can you hear us? No sé si nos puede escuchar, Esmeralda. Vamos a ver. Eh, Virginia, Virginia Rivas. Good night. Good evening, Virginia. Would you like to share? Good night. Uh, my name is Virginia Rivas. Uh -huh. My name is Virginia Rivas. I am work at the Burros Pacifico. Okay. Uh, I am a uh, I work from um, Pastora Guzmán. Uh -huh. oh. I am. Yeah. Bueno, la otra no. no. ¿Cómo sería en español? Yo le ayudo. Hasta esa parte realicé. Ok, está bien. ¿Y el nombre de su puesto? Ah. Uh, ok, business advisor. Ok. Only two little corrections. When you say I work at, ahí ya no le ponemos am, ¿verdad? Porque el am es yo soy o yo estoy. Pero ah. como estamos utilizando el verbo work, entonces ya no es okay. necesario, ¿verdad? Solo decimos I work at, I work in, I work for. Ok. So, uh, let me advance. And uh, I have this conversation for you. It says, so, do you usually, thank you, thank you very much. Because of the time, we are going to advance. Por el tiempo vamos a avanzar un poquito, ¿verdad? Y aquí sí todos vamos a participar. So it says, conversation, listen and practice. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come here at 10. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start to work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight, that is late. What do you do exactly? I am a chef. I work at the Pink Elephant. That's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kevin. So if you see, uh, we are using some WH word, words. For example, uh, when we ask, what time do you go to work? Or when you, you, when you say, um, let's say, um, what do you do exactly? So we are using a WH word, okay? 
So, what I want you to do is to practice this conversation. Lo que vamos a hacer es practicar esta conversación y vamos a um, cambiar ciertos elementos. For example, eh, eh, what time do you go to work? Aquí vamos a responder a qué hora vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? I start to work at, a qué horas comienzo a trabajar. Eh, when do you get home at night? A qué horas regresas a casa por la noche. So you can say, I usually get home at 5 p.m., at 6 p.m., at 7 p.m., I don't know. So we can change some elements of the conversation. So, uh, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas o vamos a la conversación? Let's see. Uh, if you can take a picture, si le podemos tomar una imagen, ¿verdad? That's going to be great. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take one for you. Okay, so let me send it to the WhatsApp group. But if you can take a better picture than mine, it's going to be okay. Let's see. Okay, I hope you can get it now. Ahí la tenemos, ¿verdad? So let me invite you now to the breakup rooms and then I would like that you can perform this conversation. Remember that this is your time for speaking. Recuerden que este es su tiempo para hablar, for, for practicing. So let me uh, open the breakout rooms and let's say that we are going to have four groups. Let's create them. Okay. Let's create the rooms and please join. Okay, you can join and just in case if you have a difficulty, you let me know. Maritza and Hazel, do you have a problem joining this group? Okay, Irene, comencemos. Ok. Ahí, Gerardo. Hola, Ford. When do you get home at night? When do you get home at night? Uh, I usually get home at evening. Okay, that is early. What do you do exactly? ¿Qué hace exactamente? Mm, ok. Eh, I work at gig. Mm, 12 p.m. At 12 p.m. Hey, ok. Eh, when do you get home? 
Hello, Carlita Bolaños. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? ¿Me puede escuchar, Carlita? Uh, we are working in the breakout rooms, so I would like to invite you. Me gustaría invitarla a los breakout rooms. So I will send you an invitation now. Le voy a enviar una invitación ahora. Hello, how is it going? Well, did you finish? I, Terminamos? No. No yet? Todavía no? A la mitad, ya casi. Okay, excellent. You will have one more minute. Tenemos un minutito más, ¿verdad? So you can continue practicing. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Bye. I start work at 12 p.m. Uh, okay. Uh, how is that delay? When do you get home at night? I usually get home at 9 p.m. And, and that's it like what you do exactly? I am agent and I work at call center. That's my after no ten before fifteen. Uh, yes, I work seven. in seven, the huh? I, I, work I work in the morning, seven. in the morning, porque empiezo a trabajar en la mañana. Oh, ¿Te entiendo? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I work in the morning. I start I work, uh, work uh, I ten work hours. Seven, seven before fifteen. Uh, seven, excuse me, may I help you? You can say I start to work at seven, uh, or you can say I work from seven uh, a.m. to five p.m. ¿Verdad? Si queremos decir el rango de 7 a 5, I work from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I work at 7 from. Si vamos a decir el rango, utilizamos la preposición from, que sería trabajo desde las 7 de la mañana hasta las 5 de la tarde. So you say, I, I, I work from 7 p.m. to 5, excuse me, I work from 7 a.m. a.m., ¿verdad? A.m. to 5 p.m. To 5 p.m. Pero si okay. solo quiere decir a qué horas comienza, dice, I start working at 7, at 7 in the morning. Okay. El teacher es válido decir, I work 8 eh, hours. 8 hours. O yes. trabajo 8 horas. Yes, you can say, I work 8 hours per day. Per day. Por hours, día. hours? Hours per day. Por día. Per day, ok. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. Okay, very Thank good. You. I'll call you back in a minute. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Okay, hello, welcome back. Uh, we are coming back from a practice. So we uh, work, we talk about uh, our work and what time we start to work, okay? So I would like to have a pair of teams, volunteer teams, to show us, to model us what you did in the breakout room. Nos gustaría tener al menos un par de grupos, ¿verdad? Voluntarios, 
que puedan compartirnos cómo hicieron su conversación en los breakout rooms. So the mic is open for you. Vamos a ver quién quiere comenzar. Who wants to start? Etsy. Vamos a ver de los equipos que no han participado. Eh, may I ask you maybe to Ibis team, el equipo de Ibis. Hello, okay. Ibis, how are you? Thank you for okay. participating. With my, no sé, no me acuerdo de los nombres. Ok, vamos a ver en el breakout room quiénes eran. Let's see, ahorita le confirmo. Vamos a ver los compañeritos de Ibi. Estaba David y, y, y yo. Ok, thank you, Ronnie and David. Ok, <risa> okay thank you. Ok, who, who starts? Vamos a ver, podría ser que lo haga eh, Ronnie eh, Ibis o Ibis David, como ustedes gusten. Eh, lo voy a hacer con Ibis. Ok, thank you, Ronnie. Eh, ¿Lista, okay. Ibi? Sí, sí. Vale, lo voy a preguntar. Eh, what time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. okay. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at 9 p.m. Okay. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, uh, study? Um, I am a I, agent. I work at call center. Okay, very good. Excellent. What else? Okay. That's all, right? Uh, that's it. Girl. Okay, very good. That's it. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Elena. Elena Clemente, Elena Steam, el equipo de Elena, vamos a ver. Who was your performance of the conversation? Would you like to share? Oy. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Remember that we are practicing, okay? And learning together. No se preocupen, estamos aprendiendo juntos. Okay. Ay, ¿qué me pregunta? ¿Qué okay. además? Vamos a ver, chicos, del equipo de Elena, si no ahorita se los confirmamos. Vamos a ver. David, parece, y no me recuerdo quién era el otro Ay, señor. Le verifico. El, grupi, el grupo de Elena era Genaro, Hazel y David. So, who's ready to share? Vamos a ver quién, si Genaro, eh, o Hazel, o David. Let's see. David. Hello, David. Can you hear us? ¿Nos puede escuchar, David? Hola, hola. Ahí está David. Hello, hello. Hello, hola, teacher. David. Sorry. Hello, my dear. Don't worry. Okay, would you like to perform the conversation with Elena? Uh, yes. Please, thank you. Hi, Kevin. Adelante, David. Uh, so, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah. I do usually come here. Uh, um, Le vamos a cambiar ahí, verdad, teacher? If you want, yeah. si quiere, verdad? At 10. Um, o puede poner otra hora. At 10 o'clock. Okay. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the morning from 15 before 7. Uh -huh. Wow. To five. Uh -huh. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at in the afternoon? Mm, I don't know. Uh, Ali, are you sure? I usually, I usually home. get home at uh, 7 p.m. 15. Ah, okay. No worries. p.m. Okay. Seven. No, 5 p.m. Ah, 5 p.m. Okay. 5 PM, yes. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, it's late. What do you What do you do exactly? I am a lab technical. I work at Servicios Colón. Okay. Oh, this was intelligent. Interesting. Okay, very good. Good job, team. You also changed the conversation and it was uh, very nice, like Evie's team. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank we you. are going to stop sharing this practice here and we are going to continue with the next part of the class. And in the next part of the class, we are going to study how to make questions with WH words. And later, we are going to complete the exercise uh, from the platform. Okay, see here we, you see who, we normally use who to talk about someone, to ask about someone. Quien. We use what to talk about something. Que. Or when to talk about a, a date, right? To talk about time. Cuando. Where to talk about a place, right? When we ask about, when we ask about a place, we use where. Donde. Why? Normally we use why to ask for a reason, okay? When you say why, you're asking an explanation for, and of course, a reason. How? When we use how, we're asking the manner, okay? How do you feel today? Como? Como te sientes hoy? How often? We use how often to talk about the frequency. Que tan a menudo? How much? We use how much to talk about quantity. Cuánto, verdad? Cuánto. Okay, so the example of the question, who do you, who do I go, what do you, uh, where do you work, uh, what does he think, where does she study, how does it live, how often you uh, eat, how much do you have, excuse me. Okay, this is the way we formulate the questions. And if you see the structure, we have the WH word, the auxiliary do, and remember that for he, she, it, we use does, okay? And for the other pronouns, we use do. And the verb remains the same. En este caso, en el caso de las preguntas, el verbo se mantiene exactamente igual. Because we are using here an auxiliary. We use do as auxiliary of the question. Okay. So here you can see how is the... Um, basic uh, sentences, the affirmative sentences. You say, I study, you study, he, she studies, because in that case, we apply the rule of the third person singular. We study, they study. But when we have a WH word questions, we say, where, for example, where do I study English? Where do you study English? When does she study English? Why does um, he study English? How do we study English? How do they study English, okay? So if you see here, WH plus the auxiliary do or does plus the subject pronoun and then the complement. Okay, so the, the formula again, what, do or does, or it can be any other of these WH. Puede ser what o cualquiera, ¿verdad? De las preguntas WH, information questions, se llaman también, plus do or does, plus the subject, plus the complement, okay? So, it says, what does, en este caso, ah, perdón, en el caso de arriba, who, who studies English? Vea que cuando preguntamos quién estudia inglés, no decimos who study English, decimos who studies English, ¿verdad? Porque estamos utilizando acá el verbo para la tercera persona, así se pregunta. Y la respuesta sería she studies, studies English or she studies, or she studies English, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando pregunta con who, sí va a tener que seguir la regla de la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Eh, porque no está utilizando un auxiliar. ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí sí tiene que aplicarle la regla al verbo. Ok, now, we have some questions here. Uh, we have the affirmative sentence. Tenemos la oración afirmativa. Thomas studies English at college. So, the question, where does Thomas study? Number two, her friend lives in London. 
¿Cómo nos quedaría esta pregunta? Vamos a ver, me voy a salir para, para tratar de elaborarlas con ustedes. As long as you say. En tanto ustedes me van diciendo, yo voy tratando de elaborarla, ¿verdad? According to the rule, how, do, how should I elaborate this question? Her friend lives in London. Y vamos a usarlo utilizando where. Entonces, ¿cómo me quedaría la pregunta? Por supuesto, ponemos primero where, ¿verdad? Y luego... Where do you plan? Where are do? Do where or does? Do? do or does? ¿De quién estamos hablando? Das, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de una tercera persona. Ok, where does your friend live? Ok, where does your friend live? Y vea que ese live me queda así, ¿verdad? Porque ya tengo el auxiliar das, ¿verdad? Entonces ya no hay necesidad de que yo utilice la regla. Ok, Susan study, studies más. Okay, we are talking about Susan. Susan studies math. So how do I formulate the question in this case? Uh, they are asking me to use what? What does? What, what does? Gag. Susan. Gag. Susan. Or she, ¿verdad? Podría haber incluso usado she, pero digamos que usamos Susan y voy a dejar entre paréntesis she. Okay? What does Susan or she? Study. 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 Y aquí ya no le ponemos eh, la, la regla de la tercera persona because we have an auxiliary here. Ya tenemos un auxiliar ahí, ¿verdad? Ok, next. Ivan lives in New York. Who? ¿Cómo nos quedaría esta? Who like? Who like? Vean acá. ¿Cómo la podríamos uh, hacer? Who, who lives, lives in New York. Who lives in New York? ¿Quién vive en Nueva York? Y ya no, como no estoy usando el auxiliar, entonces ahí sí pongo lives, ¿verdad? Pero solamente uh -huh. para ese caso. Ok, number eh, next. His brother always... Hey, get, adelante. Eh, solo sería para who eh, buscando el... Solo sería el, para who. Sí. Ah, ok. Sí, porque si no tendría que decir, who does live in New York? Entonces se oye un poco extraño. Entonces de una vez se hace la pregunta sin el auxiliar, pero entonces el verbo en el caso de who, sí me cambia. Uh -huh. Ok. Excellent. Very good. His brother always gets up at six o'clock in the morning. So... They request me to ask a question using when. So how should be this question? I start with when. When? Does. Okay. When does. Get up. Your brother, his brother. Get up. Get up. Y ahí no le get ponemos, up. ¿verdad? No le ponemos la, la, porque ya tenemos el auxiliar. When does his brother get up? Okay. Uh, next, Mr. Brown uh, goes to work by bus. Vea esta oración. Cuando hablamos de un medio de transporte, esto ya lo habíamos visto, but just to remind you, solo para recordarles, we use the preposition by. By bus, by train, by car. Mr. Brown goes to work by bus. How? Aquí vamos a preguntar la manera como él va a trabajar. Entonces comenzamos con how. How do. How does, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de Mr. Brown, a third person, una tercera persona. How does, y luego, Mr. Brown, ok. Go. Go, en este caso, go, ¿verdad? Ya no ponemos goes porque ya tenemos el auxiliar acá. How does Mr. Brown go to work? Ok. Next. Oops, sorry. Vamos a ver. Wait a minute for me. Solo espérenme un segundito. Okay. The supermarket sell, sell, 
sells apples. So how do I change it? ¿Cómo la cambio? Eh, what do? Eh, the supermarket. The supermarket is it. And so I say, what? ¿Verdad? Me están, what does... Do. Das, porque el supermarket es también una, no es una persona, pero es un objeto. Entonces lo utilizamos como it. Entonces sí entra como tercera persona. Solo que es un objeto, ¿verdad? What does, en este caso, the supermarket. Y luego, sell o sells. Sell. Sell, ¿verdad? What does the supermarket sell? Ya no ponemos la S porque ya tenemos el auxiliar acá, ¿verdad? Ok, they usually travel to the countryside on holidays. So, how do we elaborate that question? ¿Cómo elaboramos esa pregunta? Where, me dicen que utilice where. Where? Where? Das. Do, do or does? Do. Do. do, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de day. Entonces, para day usamos do. Where do they, where do they usually travel the countryside. on holidays? Porque la respuesta es the countryside. Entonces, ¿cuándo, verdad? On holidays. On holidays. Como me están preguntando, ¿a dónde? Entonces, la respuesta es to the countryside. Entonces, eh, la completo así. Where do they usually travel on holidays? Oops, 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 oops. Okay, Richard is a teacher. He teaches. So how do we elaborate the question? Me dicen que use what? 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 Do. Aha, pero es Richard, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. Yeah. What does Richard Teach, ¿verdad? Teach. Ajá, teach. Ya no le pongo el teaches porque ya tenemos el auxiliar y does. What does Richard teach? Richard eh, teaches, eh, we can say English or math or whatever, right? Ok, let's, let's uh, uh, finish. Vamos a terminar ya. Ok, the last one. Oops. Uh, vamos a ver. Mover un poco. Okay, uh, this bus goes to the shopping mall. So what is the bus? bus? ¿Qué subject pronoun toma el bus? ¿Es una tercera persona, sí o no? It, ¿verdad? Entonces sí es una tercera persona, aunque es un objeto. Okay, so the question is where? Where does, 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 porque el bus es it, ¿verdad? Es tercera persona, sí, claro. Solo estoy hablando de un bus. Where does the bus go? Where does the bus where does the bus go? The bus goes to the shopping mall. Okay, very good. That's the answer. That's the way we formulate questions. Esa es la forma como formulamos las preguntas, ¿verdad? So now, here I have this conversation and it says Teacher. Adelante. En la página ahí está. Uh -huh. Adelante, ahí está. Adelante. You can take a picture and I will do it. Gracias. Ok, let's see. Yo también se las voy a mandar, but if you can take a better picture than mine, it's ok. Si usted puede tener una mejor que esta, that's going to be great. Ok, let's continue. In the next part, uh, we have this. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? Esta pregunta, what do you do, is a very wide question. And you can say, I'm a student, I have a part-time job, too. Es una pregunta bien amplia, ¿verdad? ¿Qué haces? If you ask me, what, you, what do you do? En este momento yo puedo decir, ah, I teach. I teach to my, stud to my students. Uh, I teach English. Pero también, what do you do puede ser eh, a qué te dedicas, ¿verdad? Aunque la pregunta más directa, cuando queremos saber a qué se dedica alguien, podemos decir, what do you do for a living, ¿verdad? Le agregamos for a living, ¿qué haces para vivir? Pero también, what do you do, it's okay, it's acceptable. 
So in this case, the answer is, I'm a student, I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. What does Amy do? She's a dancer. Where does she work? She works, vea que cuando ya respondo y así le aplico la eh, third person rule, ahí se aplico, ¿verdad? La regla, because I'm saying an affirmative sentence. Estoy haciendo una oración afirmativa, ¿verdad? She works at a dance company. Or she travels too. How does she like it? Ese how does she like it es que tanto le gusta, ¿verdad? Su trabajo. She loves it, okay? So again, here I have a reminder. Aquí tenemos un recordatorio, ¿verdad? Para I, para you, para todos los demás utilizamos el verbo tal cual in the base form, en la forma base. But for he, she, it, you look that it written works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Okay, so complete the conversations and then practice with a partner. What do you do? I'm a full-time student. I study the piano. And, la siguiente pregunta. And, do you? ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo sería esa pregunta? And how do you go to school? O where, ¿verdad? Y ahí vamos acomodando. Si, dir, si diría how, mmm, la respuesta no tiene sentido porque dice I to the Brooklyn School of Music. Ah, entonces es en, where, a dónde, ¿verdad? Where do you go to school? I, eh, I study or um, I go to the Brooklyn School of Music. Wow. How? How do you like your class? Ese how do you like es que tanto te gustan tus clases. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. Me gustan mucho. Okay. What, y aquí Tania, como estamos hablando de una tercera persona, vea qué interesante. Aquí yo digo, what does Tania do? En el primer does, él está funcionando como un auxiliary verb, pero el segundo es el main verb, el do, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hace Tania? She's a teacher. Ajá, she teaches. Teaches an art class at school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works, aquí cuando ya respondo, ya no llevo auxiliar, entonces digo, he works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? Ese what does he do exactly es, y qué, qué hace exactamente, ¿verdad? Con más precisión, descríbame qué hace. He's a web designer. He designs, ¿verdad? Aquí no se ve el, el espacio, pero ahí está. He designs. Fantastic websites. Okay, eh, number three. What? ¿Cómo creen que va ahí? Do o does? Gag, gag. Do, porque Bruce and Evie es they, ¿verdad? Entonces, what do Bruce ah. and Evie do? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué hacen? Okay, they work or works. Work. work. Work, ¿verdad? No le agregamos la S porque estamos hablando de they. They work at an Italian restaurant. It's really good. That's nice. Y luego dice, is Evie's job? Sería, how Where. or when, ¿verdad? Porque aquí dice, well, she manages a finance and rules. ¿Qué okay, sería? That's nice. How? Or what is Evie's job? Sería, what is Evie's job? ¿Cuál es el trabajo de Evie? Well, she manages the finances and cooks in the kitchen. ¿Verdad? Sería cooks, ¿verdad? In the kitchen. Where do or does? Ali. Estamos hablando de Ali. ¿Quién es Ali? A third person. Una tercera persona, ¿verdad? Persona. Excuse me. Where does Ali work? Y la respuesta, he works. Aquí sí le agregamos la S. He works at the university. He has, ¿verdad? A part-time job. 
Okay, y next question. Really, what does he do? Vea, aquí se aplica, igual que en el otro caso. What does he do? El primer does es auxiliar del segundo, que es el verbo principal do. What does he do? He works eh, or he does office work. Hace trabajo de oficina. How much he like it or how does he like it, ¿verdad? Igual que acá. How does, en este caso dice she, pero aquí es he. How does he like it? Not much, not much, but he earns. Eh, vean que el, el verbo ganar, en el caso de que ganamos dinero, nuestro salario, nuestros bonos, nuestras comisiones, se dice earn, earn, y se escribe E-A-R-N, en español E-A-R-N, earn, ganar, que es de devengar, ¿verdad? El sinónimo sería devengar. When we talk about a competition, cuando hablamos de una competencia, ahí sí, or in a game, o en, en un juego, ¿verdad? Ahí sí decimos win. Pero cuando hablamos de salary, we say earn. Not much, but he earned some extra money to spend. Okay, very good. So now, WH questions with B. También podemos hacer preguntas WH no solamente con el verbo do or does, sino que también con verb B. With WH questions with B. What's your name? Where's your friend? Who's son he? What are your classmates like? Este what are your classmates like es como, ¿cómo son tus compañeros de clase? Where are you and Luis from? ¿De dónde son tú y, y Luisa? Where are you and Luisa from? How are your classes? So the question, what's your name? My name is Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Who's and he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They are very nice. Um, where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They are really interesting. Okay, so that's an example of WH questions with be. Vea que también podemos utilizar las WH questions con el verbo to be. Okay. So now we are going to complete these questions and then uh, I think we don't have, yeah, uh, because we need to go to the platform, but we have uh, just five minutes to share. Vamos a completar, ¿verdad? Eh, comienza y dice, who's that? Oh, that's Miss West. And number two, dice, she's from Miami. What do you think uh, he or she's asking? ¿Qué creen que le pregunta? Where? Where? Uh, Where is, ahí agregamos el is, ¿verdad? Where is she from? Lo vamos a resolver acá para que vean cómo queda. Todavía nos quedan unos minutos. Where is, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que estamos ahora trabajando con WH y el verbo to be. Where is she from? She's from Miami. Her first name, ¿qué cree que está preguntando? Su primer nombre. Ajá. What's, aquí es what, what's her first name, ¿verdad? Ahí podemos abre, eh, eh, abreviar, abreviar eh, o contractar, pero lo vamos a hacer completado, ¿verdad? Eh, full. What is her first name? It's Celia. Ok, let's see the next. Veamos la siguiente. The two students over there. Ok, estamos preguntando acerca de personas. Y la respuesta es, their names are Jeremy and Karen. So what do you think is the question about? ¿Cuál creen que es la pregunta? Si estamos preguntando de personas, ¿cuál WH usamos? What, where, who, or how, or why? How, how, who. Who, ¿verdad? Who are... Who are the two students over there? ¿Quiénes son los estudiantes que están ahí? Over, ese over there es ahí, ¿verdad? O allá. Y la persona responde, their names are Jeremy and, and Karen. They from, y vean la respuesta, they are from Vancouver, Canada. ¿Qué estamos preguntando? Where? 
Where, ¿verdad? Where, vamos a retomar ah. este para que nos sirva más fácil. Ok, where, pero como are. estamos hablando de they, ya no es is, ¿verdad? Sino where are. are. Where are they from? ¿De dónde son ellos? They are from Vancouver, Canada. Ok, they are from Vancouver, Canada. And uh, the next question is, um, they like. ¿Vean? How much? Eh, ve aquí, what are your classmates like? Entonces vamos a tomar ese modelo y decimos, how, uh, what, what, uh, what, what are they like? Eso es cómo son ellos. Háblame, platícame, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo son ellos? Descríbelos en otras palabras. They are shy but very friendly. Son tímidos pero muy amigables. Ok, very good. Some, any other questions? Algunos otros ejemplos, ¿verdad? When do you study English? Ok, you can say, I study English from Monday to Thursday. Ok, how often do you eat pizza? You can say frequently, um, always, never, uh, three times per month or once a month. It depends, right? Where does your mother live? Why do you think that? Who do they like? Um, what does the girl have in her bag? How much does your dog eat? ¿Verdad? Este who do they like es y cómo son ellos, ¿verdad? Descríbelo. So, tell me about them. Háblame acerca de ellos. So now, let's talk about this. Vamos a ver estas siguientes preguntas. WH questions in simple present. How, where, or who? Do you live? A, B, or C? ¿Cómo nos where. where, ¿verdad? Where. Estamos utilizando where porque la respuesta dice I live in Mexico City. Ok, volunteer for number two. Does Michael get to work? Y la respuesta es he drives Who? to work. Who's that? Who or how? Vean la how. respuesta. How how how, 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 how does Michael get to work? He drives to work. Number three, all are you? I'm 23. How? But how, how old are you? How old are you? Number four, is that? It's a butterfly. What? what where, or who? What? What? That. What, that? what is that? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? that? It's a butterfly. Okay, next. Is your name? My name is Stuart. What? What, what? Who or how? What? 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 what is your name? My name is Stuart. Number 10. Did you stay home? I felt sick. Where, Where? or why? Where? Where? Mm, ve, aquí le está dando una razón y dice, I felt sick. Me sentí enfermo. Enfermo. Why? Why, ¿verdad? Le está preguntando una razón. Why did you stay home? ¿Por qué te quedaste en casa? Because, I aquí había dicho, ¿verdad? Because I felt sick o simplemente I felt sick. Eleven. They what sit. You, what they sit. Ahí, ahí fíjense que empezamos a preguntar. Estamos preguntando de un tiempo, de una fecha, pero se utiliza yes. what. ¿Qué when? día es ahora, verdad? What. What? Ah, what? What? what day is it? ¿Qué día es? No dice cuándo es, sino qué día es. What day is, what day is it? Okay. It's Monday. ¿Cuándo? Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cuándo when es when? Work. Pero estamos preguntando no cuándo, sino qué día. What day is it? Entonces decimos what. Number mm. 12. Can I start work? What, when, or who? Ahí sí, ¿verdad? When, when. Start now. when, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo puedo comenzar a trabajar? When can I start work? You can start now. Excuse me. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Ok, ahí está. Ok, next. Let, let me open it. Ok, six. Do cows eat? They eat grass. How, what, or when? When. What, what? What? What do what? cows eat? ¿Qué comen las vacas? They eat grass. 
Ah. Is your best friend? Sofia is my best friend. What, who, or why? Who? Who is your best who friend? Who is your Number best friend? Sofia is my best friend. Number eight. When, why, or who do you usually get up? I usually, I usually get up at six o'clock. So, when, ¿verdad? When, do when, you when, when, when do you usually get up? Okay, 14. Are you late? My car is broken down. Why, who, or where? Why? Why? I'm asking for a reason. Estoy pidiendo una razón, ¿verdad? Why are you late? My car is broken down. 15. Are your bags? They are over there. Where, why, or how? Where? Where are your bags? They are over there. Are you today? I'm fine, thanks. How, who, or where? How? How, how are you today? How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, excellent. I'm going to stop sharing. And the last thing we are going to do, la última cosa que vamos a hacer es ver el knowledge. Maybe we are not going to solve it. No lo vamos a resolver, ¿verdad? Because of the time, but I want to show you. Instructions. Complete this conversation. Select the answer that contains the two words needed to complete each question. So, acabamos de estar viendo, ¿verdad? La WH con la tercera persona. Y cuando lleva el auxiliar do o does. So, the first says, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. Okay, now, letter A. Does she it? It's difficult, but she loves it. ¿Cómo, le, ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Where like, what like, or how like. Según lo que vimos anteriormente, sería esta, ¿verdad? How does she like it? ¿Qué tanto le gusta o cómo le gusta, verdad? Pero no se oye bien cómo le gusta, sino qué tanto le gusta. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Es difícil, pero le gusta. Conversation two. Does your brother at the airport, he's a pilot. Where, work, what work, how work? ¿Cuál sería la pareja ideal? Where. Where, where. he work, no. ¿verdad? Where does where. your brother where. work? Okay. Next. Oh, does, does he it? La respuesta, he doesn't really like it. Where does he like it? How does she like, he like it? Or what like it? What like? Sería how, ¿verdad? Como en el caso de arriba. How, like. how does he like it? ¿Qué tanto le gusta? He really, he doesn't really like it. Realmente no le gusta, ¿verdad? Okay. Conversation three. Uh, do your partner, I mean, do your parents, the job? Y la respuesta es, oh, I guess they like them. Where do your parents, what, eh, or how? Oh. How, ¿verdad? How do your parents like their jobs? ¿Qué tanto les gustan sus empleos o sus trabajos a tus padres? I guess they like them. Creo que les gusta. Remember. I don't remember, do they? In an office in the city. What? Do they work? Where do they work? Or how do they work? Where, 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 I don't remember where do they work. No recuerdo donde trabajan. In an office in the city, le responde. Conversation four. Do you, I'm a student, where do you do? Or do what, you do? Or what do you do? Or how do you do? What do you do? How do you do? What? How? Sería what, ¿verdad? What do you do? ¿Qué haces? Lo que les explicaba, ¿verdad? Que es una pregunta bien amplia. What do you do? ¿Qué haces? Mm, right now, or for a living, or how? Ahorita, o para vivir, o cómo, ¿verdad? Ok, pero cuando nos preguntan what do you do, es normalmente a qué te dedica, ¿verdad? I'm a student. Yo puedo decir, I am a teacher. I see. I see. How do you like your classes? What do you like your classes? Or where do you like your classes? Y vean la respuesta. They are good. I like them. Aquí falta una M. No es N, es M. A lot. Entonces sería, de nuevo, ¿verdad? What do you, eh, what do you like your, excuse me, how? 
perdón. How do you like your classes? ¿Qué tanto te gustan tus clases? They are good. I like them a lot. Ok, vamos a chequear. Let's check. Yes, very good. You're right. Ok, entonces decimos, repitiendo. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Uh, where does your brother work? At the airport. He's a pilot. Oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Uh, how do your parents uh, like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. Where do they work? In an office in the city. What do you do? I'm a student. I see. How do you like your classes? They're good. I like them a lot. Ok, very good. ¿Estamos claros cómo vamos a usar how does he or she like it? O cómo vamos a decir, eh, por ejemplo, la otra expresión, what do you do? ¿Verdad? Is it clear? ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Ok, my dear. Thank you so much for coming. Remember that tomorrow we have class. So I hope to see you here same time to continue learning and to complete the section number three in the midterm exam. Mañana vamos a completar la unidad tres y vamos a explorar el, el examen de medio periodo, ¿verdad? Thank you. Thank you for coming. Be safe. Hope to Good see you. Good night. Oh, good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care.